Where there is education, there is always hope. I'm named for both of my grandmothers. Hope is uh, my dad's mother, and my first name, Clista, is my uh, mother's mother. My mother's name was Cleone, and no substitute teacher could ever get it right. So she promised that she would name all of her kids with a name that the substitute teacher could get. So my, grand, my first name being Clista, she didn't think that met the criteria, so that's why I've always been called Hope. So there were, there were about seven Hopes that were named after my grandmother. C. Hope Eccles was born into a family that has always had a passionate commitment to education. My mother's family in particular, uh, she was from a small town in uh, central Utah, Fairview. And my grandfather had wanted to go to law school, but his father passed away. And so he had to, as the oldest son, take care of the family. So he made sure that all of his five siblings all went to college and got a degree. Following high school, Hope was accepted into Stanford University and earned a degree in economics and political science. Exposure to all kinds of different classes have changed my life forever. But Utah called her home and she returned to attend the use S.J. Quinney College of Law and to have some fun with her siblings. And I think I was ready to be a little closer to home for a bit. A second bonus was that at that time, um, both my sisters and my brother were also attending the University of Utah. Then one quarter, we all took ballroom dancing together. And that was, that was just um, a lot of fun. I'm not good, but it was fun. And if law school wasn't challenging enough, Hope got her MBA from Columbia University Business School as well. Getting an education um, mattered. It could make a difference. Hope began her legal career as an associate in the New York law firm of Paul Hastings, Janowski & Walker. But it was her desire to improve education in Utah that became her passion. She served at the state level as deputy for higher education and as co-chair of Envision Utah's My Education, My Future Committee. The single most important thing, I think, is to give people opportunities and choices. Giving them a good education, uh, giving them the opportunity to choose. The reality is kids today will probably have 12, on average, 12 different jobs, careers in their lifetime. So the importance of an education, it prepares them to be adept at changes, um, to embrace new opportunities. Hope's service to the University of Utah has been extraordinary. Dedicating her time and energies as a member of the Board of Trustees for nine years, supporting the S.J. Quinney College of Law's Alumni Association, and helping create the Eccles Scholars Program in the Honors College. We do bleed red. The University of Utah is just, is a wonderful place, and we've got a very long history that history began with her parents, and she has followed in their footsteps. I was particularly blessed with very special parents, but I think fewer people knew uh, my mother and what she meant. And her commitment to the university, for mother to, to have her uh, name on this building, to have it exude or try to at least mirror some of her graciousness, and show her commitment to education and her commitment to, the, to what the university can be and should be uh, has never wavered either. And what is Hope's message of hope today? I can't express my um, admiration for the kids that are graduating today. You had to do that under circumstances that no one else ever has. I would embrace the fact that, that you had it tougher you should move forward and say, we're able to adapt. We've had to figure out new ways to do things. Hang on to those ideas. Use those as you're moving forward. And then dream big. Dad's motto is always, the best is yet to come. I think if we can engender some attitudes of optimism and always a sense of humor, that will, that will help our communities a lot. Our family is full of hope.